Hey, what's up guys? Um, have a package, so I guess this is kind of like an unboxing. I've already unboxed it, but I'll kind of go through the contents with you guys. Uh, this was sent from Linguafile88. Uh, um, it's been a supporter of the channel since probably the first 10 or so vids um, that I uploaded. So thanks, Linguafile. All right, so first we have Stetson. Um, this is the Stetson Cooling Moisture Aftershave, so I'm assuming there's a bit of menthol in here. Um, as you guys know, I, I have the normal Stetson, so I'm curious to use this. Uh, we'll probably use this um, tonight for the shave. Um, also, he sent a sample of Cremo. This is the Reserve Blend. So this is also going to be used tonight in the shave. Cremo's Reserve Blend. Um, we'll keep going on with the soaps. He sent uh, two more samples. Fine Accoutrements 21st Century Platinum. Um, as you guys know, I do have the, um, I have the aftershave, the splash. Very nice. The splash is obviously much stronger. Um, just smelling it from here, it's like a one or two, it's very mild. Same scent though, so that's nice. And this is the new formulation of Fine Accoutrements, their 21st century formulation. We'll use that in the future, and we will also use this in the future. I've never heard of this company before. Uh, the Los Angeles Shaving Soap Company. Um, Mirkvidar or something like that. I don't know how you pronounce that. M-Y-R-K-V-I. Uh, that's a D, but I don't know how you pronounce that type of D because it has like a lot. Anyways. And then uh, R. So I don't know. Mirkvidar. The scent on this. Um, I don't know. I want to say chocolatey, but I have no idea. I don't know. I'll look up the scent profile and whatnot, but yeah, we'll do a shave with this in the near future too. Uh, he sent this little cover here. It's like for a uh, razor head. So for instance, let me grab this. I guess it will fit on my Rockwell. Yeah, perfect. See? So... You could travel like this um, and not get your razor head um, scratched up. So that's cool. I'll actually put that back in its drawer with that on. Don Marco. Um, he did not like the Don Marco scent. I actually like this. He says that this smells kind of like a urinal puck. So, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't have the uh, aftershave splash. I didn't. Now I do. But uh, I do have the soap. And, and that's one of my uh, favorites from Razor Rock. So. And as far as other hardware, what is this? TSE, so the, uh, the Soap Exchange Soothing Aftershave. I'm not sure which scent this is. Um, sorry, Texas Leather. That's what it is, Texas Leather. She says it right there on the side. Oops, the little piece that goes in the top cap. Yep, that's Texas Leather. I actually really like that scent. It's a very musky scent, so I have to be kind of in the mood for like a musky type of uh, type of a, a smell. But yeah, I do like that. All right, and let's move on to Nivea. So he sent me a Nivea Sensitive Cool Cooling Post Shave Balm and uh, instantly cools. So, and as you guys have seen a bunch of times, I have the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Not the menthol. This is the menthol, so we'll definitely use that. Uh, and then some razors. Now, um, the derbies, he sent two packs of every one except for one, uh, which is the Wilkinson Sword Saloon Pack. So the derby extras, I uh, did a video on them. Um, well, my last video. Well, depends on when this uploads, but yeah. Probably my last video. You saw a video with my review of the derby extras. Tatras. Now, I've read... This one's kind of... A little bit of defect on the thing there, but Tatras. I'm going to do a review on these. If I don't do a review on anything else, I definitely want to do a review on these because these, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you now, but I, there, there's some things about these that I kind of want to go into depth on. Um, so I, I definitely need to do a review on Tatras, but I don't think I'm going to like these. And you'll see why in the video. Um, and like I said, he sent some Wilkinson Swords. 
This is a weird pack. I don't, I have other Wilkinson Sword packs, but none of them are like this. This is like a, it's a strange pack. It's one of the ones where you could put your, dis, you know, your, your, imp, your blades that are used and dull back into the bottom. Uh, he sent some Vijan blades, which he told me about, but I had never heard of them. I didn't know I have the Vijan shaving cream, but I wasn't sure that they had a actual <laughs> with cryotech. I actually looked up cryotech um, to see what that was. And again, I'll go in depth in the video, but it has something to do with like a cooling of um, like cryogenic. It has something like with cooling as far as the blade um, itself. Uh, after after it's made instead of heating it to harden it or whatever they, they cool it and then uh, two packs of Q-Shave Q-Shave razors, which I think I've I think I've used these before um, they, they actually you know what I, I did they came with This I believe but I think it was like a five pack. I think they came with my Q-Shave I call it my Ming Shi because it's basically the same thing. They're just rebranded but um, yeah that's the, they came with these blades. And there's something about these blades as well um, that probably not many people know. And because um, they say made in USA, right? That's a telltale sign. Because uh, there's only a couple of other blades actually made in the USA. And this is a rebranded of one of those blades. So again, the Tatras and these, I definitely want to go into depth on um, in like a review video. Uh, and then the last thing, is really neat like out of everything everything is pretty cool but out of everything this is like my favorite item and when i first opened up this let me make sure i'm not showing anything yeah when i first opened up this box um like it hit me so it's it's this it's just you know rocky mountain fresh colorado springs colorado he's not too he, lingo fall does not live too far from uh one of these stores um and yeah, they make gourmet bath body and I have some of their soaps, so I have, yeah, look. I, don't, I think this is the same company, Rocky Mountain Barbacoa Cedar Spice. Uh, but the soap itself, this is a bath soap and root beer, sarsaparilla. Heavy, strong scent. Oh man. So this is actually gonna go in my shower, which is right over here, the guest shower. Um, I've, been, I've been having to take a lot of showers in here due to the fact that the baby Goes to sleep in there at like seven and like, I don't take a shower before seven. I guess I could, but typically I'm doing other things, working out, whatever. So I've been taking a shower in here a lot. So this is definitely going in there in, in the shower. But yeah, this is an awesome smelling soap. So that's it guys. Hope uh, you enjoyed the little quick unboxing. What are we at? Eight minutes? Jeez, I didn't expect it to be this long with like the amount of items I had, but sorry, anyway. Feature link, unboxing. All right, guys, hope you have a good one and have a great shave.